Welcome to New Zealand. It is so good to be home. We're going to take a classic Kiwi road trip and head north to show you some of the most beautiful places on earth. Although we might be just a little bit biased, but you're going to see for yourself over the next few videos what makes this place so special and so popular. Other than just showing off how insanely beautiful New Zealand is, we're going to hit the roads and clock up as many Ks as we can. We're going to hunt out some of the tastiest food, drink some of the best liquids in the land, book as many cool houses and batches as we can find, and take a few tours along the way to meet some local friends. Oh, hey guys! We are beyond proud to share with you our little home. <laughs> New Zealand's so pretty. <laughs> Just showing off now. Welcome to what could be a very wintry summer road trip. <laughs> Not quite what we had in mind. <laughs> We're in New Zealand and even though we're Kiwis, we haven't actually explored a huge amount of our own backyard which we're actually oh, what's well, always the case isn't yeah it? we're a little bit ashamed to say but that is all about to change and we've also been filming now for yeah. what a couple of years and we've only done one video from new zealand Oops. so this is probably one of the most in-demand countries and we kind of haven't done it until now I say wintry because the last couple of days, and including this morning, have just been absolutely pouring with rain. But it's summertime in New Zealand, it's not supposed to be like that. But we've got a car, this is our one of our sweet little rides, and we're going to be taking a mission as far north as you can possibly go in New Zealand. Not too many people actually, in fact not many New Zealanders, take the time to go up there I don't think, but well, it's definitely a popular, <laughs> it's a popular tourist destination known as Cape Reinga, which is, yeah, as far as you can possibly go. So even if you've seen New Zealand content before, I'd like to think that we're going to be able to add a proper New Zealand Kiwi spin on how it is from a local's perspective and the things that are legit Kiwi stuff. Yeah, so there's a very specific way that every single New Zealand road trip starts with. We did it as kids, our parents used to take us to do this and we are starting ours the same way. Hi there, how can I help? Good morning. Can I please get two bacon and egg McMuffins? Yep. Uh, combos please. Thank you, driving through. Cheers. <laughs> I've got such fond memories as a kid. It's like pitch black. You're kind of half asleep in the back seat and mum and dad pull into the drive-thru of McDonald's and you get your bacon and egg McMuffin. I still eat the same amount now as I did when I was six, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even, I, when I was growing up, I didn't even care where we were going. I feel like I didn't even know half the time. It was all about like, oh, we're going, oh, we're going to Macca's? Mm -hmm, okay, cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> But the road trip is about to begin. Obviously, we can't make it all the way up to Cape Reinga in one. Well, we could if we wanted to, but we want to make crazy. a trip out, of it, trip out of it. So we're heading about an hour north. So our first stop is a, a beach called Omaha. This area is like beautiful. The houses up here are just all so class. It's not copy paste, it's very much, um, they're all like designer homes basically. There is a little bit of money up here, but the New Zealand coast once you head up north is just literally just beach after beach after beach and it really is an absolutely stunning spot. It's a nice reminder for us being from here to kind of see that uh, and to know that it is beautiful, it matches up with some of the best places in the world that we've seen. Whereas, the, so the North Island is very much about the beaches, uh, and it's warmer. The South Island of New Zealand is um, more mountainous, more ranges, there's like glaciers, it's a little bit colder, and it's more about like skiing and snowboarding and adventure kind of trips. We've kind of got to a point here next to the surf club that we're not really ready for this because we're in our, we're in shoes. Nice through here? It's 
So now that we're out of the city, there's like such a different feel up here. You can start to see little honesty boxes all along the side of the road with fresh um, honey and fruit and veggies and stuff. And so that's another reason why we wanted to stop at our next spot, which is the Oob Organic Farm, which only opens in the summertime and they sell fresh um, fruit ice cream. So we're apparently looking eastward to the Hauraki Gulf, which I'd love to, to say, pretend as Kiwis that we knew that, but... You know. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that either. That wasn't on the agenda. That was my bad. The hours say that it's open, so I don't quite know what's happened. Maybe the sign just wasn't updated. Maybe. We found ourselves a bit of a plan B though. There's just like a little caravan on the side of the road. We pulled up and they do fresh strawberry ice cream. Seven bucks, hope it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got your money's worth. I got worth. the seven bucks worth. Is this the, biggest, <laughs> is this the biggest ice cream you've ever seen in your life? Pure straws. Can I eat it? <laughs> you, finished, you finished it? Yeah. Should have got two. Full of descriptions. <laughs> really good. Really nice. Really delicious. <laughs> Guess what time it is. It's wine time. Wine time. Although <laughs> New Zealand driving rules are actually really strict. I think it was about three years ago they changed the rules and now you really can't have too much. But it's similar to the UK, I, I suppose. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. I mean, so I'll be, be smart. just sniffing the wine. No, I will have some. I will be tasting it. <laughs> so we've heard about this really interesting place, which is a mixture between, is it a vineyard as well? I think it is. I think that's where they grow their own grapes. So it's like a small vineyard as well as they have sculptures and some kind of a walk or something you can do but we heard that they've got a really nice cheese board so that's why we're here. Sold. <laughs> so we went for a cheese board which comes with three different types of cheese, a blue, a brie and I think there was an edam and then it comes with uh, two types of fruit, that's a fruit jam and that's a quince I think, a chutney, some pickles, bread and two different types of crackers. These ones look good. Look how much salt's on there. And then we also went for a um, paddle of wine. We always do the same with beer, but not so regularly with wine, but we've got a red, a rosé, and a pinot gris to go with the cheese. Don't know if you can see in the background down there. <laughs> That's one of the statues, which looks from here like a T-Rex. And there's some other unique, look. I mean, statues are always kind of, uh, kind of crazy, aren't they? There's another, like, weird looking shape over that way. I don't know what it is, but we have got so lucky with the amount of people as well. There's just barely been anybody this whole time. I feel like everyone must be back at work or something. It's still summer, but I don't know. It's very nice though. There he is a little bit closer up. <laughs> it's very odd. So this is where we've been sitting in here. This is all part of the bigger restaurant area. Then there's uh, all the vines up that way. More outdoor seating out this side. And I think this is part of the, the walk that you can do, the sculpture walk, although we haven't paid so we, I probably shouldn't walk too much further. Oh shit, this one's moving. <laughs> so we've got a lake here that goes all the way up and around and then I think there must be a, some more that you can go to further behind me as well. It's just a peaceful setting though. This is from over the other side, I just realised that that looks very much like Captain Planet. That's a throwback for anybody <laughs> watching cartoons in the 80s and 90s. So it's 10, no, 12 dollars to go for the walk around here, but we kind of feel like we've seen enough from here, so time to go. We've seen so many camper vans on our little, on our way up here, and that's a really cool way to see yeah. the north, the whole of New Zealand actually, but because I've got, well we've got the car, Marco, <laughs> in, um, in Auckland, we thought we'd just drive and book our accommodation along the way. Some cool accommodation as well, very uh, like batches I suppose it'd be called, but yeah. the one that we're about to go to right now, which is why we're not hanging around for very long, we're kind of killing time a little bit weren't we? A little bit. This one sounds really cool.
There are so many cool places that you can stay up here, but I decided that it was time for us to try out a tiny home. And we've just pulled up. It's literally, Dane's like, I can't believe it's actually on a trailer. It's literally, and it's I'm a like, trailer. That's what a tiny home is. You can take it anywhere you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's so small. I think this is how you get in. They said it was just going to be unlocked for us. Yep. Oh man, that's so brilliant. Oh my god. This is like dream tiny home Oh material. wow man! It's so modern! Huh. I think that's like a table that goes up. This tour is going to be pretty uh... Pretty short? Pretty short I think. There's even a, a Samsung flat screen here. Flat screen. So living area. Kitchen. Ooh I like this. Wow what yeah, a nice what? finish. Wow the bathroom is so nice. Really modern. Uh, how do you get up there? Oh, stairs here. You're sleeping at the top. <laughs> if you're naughty, you're going to be up there. Wow! It's more spacious when you're inside than you than it looks outside. Yeah. I have to admit with a lot of these places, I helped book them, but I didn't actually look at them. So for me, I'm in here and I'm like, wow, this is absolutely crazy. I literally feel like it's one of those TVs on like Home and Living Channel or whatever they're called. I don't even know the name of the channel. Amazing Spaces. Amazing Spaces. Wow. This is... Oh, there's chocolates. Oh, cute. I missed that. Look at the view, babe. Have you seen this? <laughs> yeah. What a place to have a tiny home. <laughs> 